Hey everybody, it's Justin from Bittner Built, and I was just at CES, and while I was there, I got to interview Excel Laser and take a look at their HD1 laser engraver that's coming out. Now, I've been watching this one come through Kickstarter, but this was the first time I got my hands on it, so uh, I put this out in my CES coverage, but I'm re-releasing it right now here as its own dedicated video because I like technological advancement. I like new... Um, you know, ways of doing things to come out. So I wanted to make sure that my laser viewers, you know, didn't miss this video packaged in something else. Um, what I'm also going to do is at the end of the interview, I'm going to throw in a whole bunch of B-roll footage. So you're not going to hear me talk or anything. I'm just going to throw some music behind it, but it's just them running laser processes. I thought you might find it interesting to be able to watch those. I won't speed any of them up. They'll all be in real time. Um, I know this laser is new and people have been interested in it. And so I think there's a lot of value for some people to be able to watch that at the end. So I hope you enjoy. So I'm really excited to come to this booth. This is Excel Laser and this is Rainy. Hi, Rainy. Hi, Justin. Very good to meet you. So this machine right here, if you're familiar in the laser community, like most of my viewers are, uh, this has the size of a large bed CO2 or diode laser, but it is a flying galvo. So it has the speed of what is typically a small bed by using mirrors to protect the laser. Could you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so uh, it's a really a pleasure to uh, share the Excel Laser HD1 to you guys today. Uh, so it's a uh, one of a kind laser. Uh, there is no other options uh, like this on the market now. So uh, the flying galvo is that uh, we the, the Galvo head uh, has the function of a uh, Galvo laser, uh, but it's put on a gantry. Okay. So it can has the speed up to 4,000 millimeters per second. Wow. And, uh, and you also have the, the size uh, of uh, 24 by 12 work okay. area. Okay, yeah. that's great. So that fits a lot of work material inside, but the speed is incredible in there. I love using a Galvo laser because of just that speed and efficiency of being able to produce things so fast, but I've always been limited in my size. So having yeah. a much larger bed is very enticing. I do want to point out too that I really like your front enclosure here, how it is one solid piece of, I only show lasers that have enclosures for your protection, but so by making it just full view everywhere, it makes it very convenient to be able to look at, for me of course, to film my projects going on. What other special capabilities do we have on the inside? I see that we have cameras. Uh, yes, so we have dual cameras. Okay. One here and one here. Okay. Yes, so uh, it can uh, clearly see the bat and also position uh, your image on the on the object directly oh, okay. and precisely. Okay. Yes, so uh, the, the precision is about 0 0.05 millimeter. Okay, great. So this one's giving you more of your wide shot, and then this one's giving you your, your high def precision shot. Yeah, yes, exactly. Um, now, what are our wattage options in this machine? Um, so there are two options. Uh, there's a pro version, uh, that's 55 watt diode and 20 watt fiber. And uh, there's also an ultra version that's much more powerful, and that's 50 watt diode and 60 watt MOPA. Okay. And then what about our software platform? What is driving the machine? Uh, yes, so we are fully compatible with Lightburn. We are working with Lightburn team uh, now to develop all the features uh, we have. Okay. So that's a uh, very uh, new uh, technology and uh, feature in the market. So Lightburn don't have a uh, flying galvo feature before. So okay, nobody does. Yeah. <laughs> so you were now on, there will be. So you had a super successful Kickstarter. Uh, have you already started shipping or when is anticipated shipping? For uh, now it's under production. So we're uh, working at full speed uh, to produce this product and we will start shipping from uh, March. Okay. And then uh, by June or July, we'll finish uh, the uh, shipping of uh, Kickstarter backers rewards. Okay. And, yes, and we also uh, receiving uh, pre-orders now. Okay, would we be able to demo some test projects yeah, sure. right here? So, wow, that is going incredibly fast. What is the actual capable speed of the machine? Uh, it's up to 4,000 millimeters per second. Oh. This is a, a new engraving mold, and uh, it's, it's called a vector rusting in view. So, uh, for traditional lasers, it goes this way, right? Uh, but this one can uh, go along the, the image, so it's much faster. 
usually this takes uh, five minutes, but just now we we use only like less than 20 seconds. Well, so so that is your vector infill. That was incredibly fast on here. Yes. Uh, what about there's some special capabilities that only this laser can do as far as uh, being able to really adjust with height during its engraving process. Yes, that's uh, that's why we call it fly, flying 3D galvo. Okay. Yes, because uh, it, it can speed up to 400 millimeter per second at the z-axis. Oh, okay. Yes, so yes. in addition to going 400 this way, we can... Uh, 4, or 4,000 this way. way, 400 this way. Yes, at and the same that's time. 10 times of other machines. Now, let me ask you this. If I were to want to engrave like a large tumbler that has a drop in it, am yeah. I able to engrave that drop seamlessly? Yes, exactly. And that's, that, that's another feature that uh, I would like to share. So uh, because of the large bed, we can put five tumblers uh, in one go. Really? Yes. Five rotaries or just five tumblers? Uh, five tumblers. Okay. But because of the, the capability of engraving at the Z axis, uh, you don't need a, a rotary to engrave uh, a curvature. Yes. A curvature. Okay, yeah, let's take a look. Yeah. Now, I haven't sped this footage up. It is engraving these shapes incredibly fast on this 3D uh, demonstration template that they have. So uh, it's engraving, spiraling down into this hole. And really, this is showing just how fast its Z axis can move. Uh, this is not something that I have been able to accomplish on any other machine that I have. And uh, this is also an owl that they had on display. Being able to engrave this contour on this rotary, it's it's incredibly impressive to me. So that was really, really fast. Yes. And also 3D. Yeah, so 3D. So basically, we saw that head move up and down super fast to be able to do this a wave all the way across, and then we're also doing on each one of these steps right here. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. So that's really what's going to enable you to be able to put in a curved tumbler surface there, and it's going to not have to rotate. You could just do a flip? Yes. Okay. Very neat. So this, uh, this is a new way to engrave an image, and it's a much faster way. Uh, it uh, divided the image into separate strips, so the galvo can engrave each strip at around uh, 20 millimeter uh, per strip. So, and then uh, with the uh, hybrid synchronized motion system, it can stitch all these uh, strips together and without any stitch error. All right, so that was incredibly fast, but very impressive too. So, mm -hmm. so stitching, this is really interesting. When it was going, I saw that each one of the passes had a very uh, jagged edge right there, obviously, except here. But so that was so that these could interlock. Um, and so the camera kind of knew where it needed to go. But that was impressive that this was a three pass. Yes. The detail and the quality on this is really amazing. And the speed at which it did it was really cool. Yes. That's impressive. Very, very neat. So uh, as far as the laser goes, you're in your production phase right now. If people are interested in ordering one of your lasers, where would they go? So uh, let's go to our official website, excellaser.com. Okay. Thank you so much, Randy. I really appreciate the time. Thank you, Justin.